Welcome back. Last video, we showed you how to build the wing. So this shouldn't be out. This should be put away somewhere safe for now. We're done with this for a few minutes. Um, next step is to build the fuselage. So in our kit here, we're actually gonna need three pieces. These little strengtheners. We need both of those and then the fuselage itself. Now, this is a very complex shape, so we want to be careful when we're ripping it out here that uh, we don't damage anything. And uh, as with the wing, if we do break something, this stuff is pretty easy to repair with a little bit of packing tape. So these two, we're gonna set these to the side for just a minute. We're gonna focus on this weird shape. Um, if it hasn't already fallen out, this guy needs removed. It's already gone on mine. This piece needs removed. It's pretty easy just to punch out. And then this little guy back here, we also need to get that piece out. That one might be a little more tricky. If you can't get it with your fingers, um, these rulers make a really good tool to just kind of slide in there and cut and then push the piece out. Okay, so we can use this ruler again as the uh, credit card. We can use this to just kind of break some of these lines out just like that if we need to. If you don't need to, don't do that. Um, but there's four lines on this piece we're gonna have to peel just like we did with the wing, all right? So we have one side, we have the bottom, we have the other side, and then this shorter piece here is the top. Between the two sides, there's a skinny piece here. Both of these skinny pieces need pulled out. And then on the top, both skinny pieces on both sides of the top need peeled out. So let's, let's use the ruler trick just to show you how it works. I'm just gonna kind of slide it in there. I'm not trying to cut all the way through. Okay, I'm just using that to kind of break all the way through the foam. And again, we're not tearing the paper. We're just trying to peel the foam off of the paper. So we're gonna do that here, just like this. We're just left with just the paper. This piece, I, for me, it's easier just to fold it and then I just push up on this and fold it again all the way across. That usually gets it broken all the way through. Um, but again, you don't, if you wanna use the ruler for this and just kinda of push Push it along on the, that edge. That works great as well. We're gonna peel this piece off. Same way we've done so far. We don't want any foam, so if we get chunks like this left, we'll come back and clean those off. But uh, just peel, peel that one all the way off. And I'm gonna come back and clean these out better in a minute after I'm done showing you which pieces need tore out. And then we've got a really long piece on both sides of the bottom, okay? So again, I'm gonna start peeling this off. And as you get a little more experience with this, you'll notice that there's a couple. So right now I'm not pinching and peeling. This one seems to be working really well just to kind of push sideways. Okay, if that works, great. Uh, experiment, see what you can figure out. Okay, so that one's a little tight. I'm gonna use my ruler here, just kind of run, run it along. like that and let's try the side push that seemed to work pretty good on the other one looking 
Good. Okay, so we got the four long pieces. One, two, three, four. There are two more small pieces on this long strip right here. First one is the very first part. We're just gonna peel this piece off so we're left with paper. And we've got one square. Oh boy, that one is not cut very well on this kit. Okay, so there's one, two, three. We got three squares and then we got this little guy right here. This little guy also needs peeled off. One, two, three squares. Peel that guy off, you're left with two. Be careful, these squares will peel off fairly easily if we're not careful, okay? So now that we have all the pieces peeled off, um, we're ready to start folding this up. And if you notice, right here, you have some instructions, right? So we've got this side, you'll notice the side goes down. The side needs to be down on the bottom. It should not be up on top. Can you see the difference on the side where it goes versus up on top where it does not go? Look at the little indicator right here if you're confused. If you're still not sure, might be a good idea to come ask Mr. T. Um, so we're going to put some glue in that crack right there. This is going to get stood up. And it's fairly important that we get everything on this piece square. The wing attaches to this, the vertical stab, the horizontal stab, everything attaches to the fuselage. So if this is crooked, everything else is gonna be crooked too. Uh, we want this to be a 90 degree angle. A ruler is a really good tool to mark or measure or hold it at 90 degrees, okay? I also have a drawer full of these guys these would also work. So we're gonna put glue in there. I'm gonna hold that. And again, this side touches the bottom. It does not go up on top. Touches the bottom. It's gonna go in there like that. This is gonna go in there like that. This is gonna fold over on top, okay? This eventually is gonna wrap around and this bottom piece is gonna go up, okay? Before we can do that, these guys need glued down. There's a mark burned in with a laser where they go. One's going to go here, one's going to go there. We want to be fairly accurate with these and getting them where they want to go because this is going to determine how well the nose fits together and everything else kind of comes together around it. So once our hot glue gun is ready, we're going to ziggy zaggy a little bit of glue in this spot. About like that, that might be a little much. And when I put this one in, I'm actually gonna set it on. I'm gonna kind of rock it a little bit to smear that glue around. And we're gonna line it up with those lines all the way around, get it lined up. Make sure you give it a good squeeze. Make sure it doesn't slide when you squeeze it, it will. All right, that looks good. So I'm just gonna hold it for a little bit and then we're gonna do the exact same thing with this side. All right, those are glued on. Now we're ready to start gluing these pieces up. I'm gonna start with this side just because it's gonna be a little bit easier to work with. I'm gonna squirt my glue in here just on this part for now. We'll come back later and do this and the nose at the very end. So glue from here to there. And I'm gonna 
tip that. Oh, we want a little bit of glue right here too. Glad I caught that. A little glue right there. We're gonna tip that up. And I'm gonna just use my triangle here. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that for a minute. Double checking it till it cools. Okay, now for the other side, same thing, glue along here and on the bottom edge of the strengthener. Screw a little bit of glue and a little bit here. Ooh, missed. I'm gonna fold this guy up. Just like that. Again, use our tool to make sure we're straight. We're gonna hold that and just let it cool. Okay, so now that that's cool, um, I'm just gonna clean a little bit of that foam off there because this is the next step. Never a bad idea just to make sure everything fits before you put the glue in. I think that'll look pretty good. So we're gonna do all along this crack and along this edge, we're gonna fold it over, dab of glue here, dab of glue here as well. So these will stick down just a little bit better. And uh, we're gonna set it down. I'm gonna set it upside down and just double check it with our square. Make sure everything's still looking good. Glue, then glue, glue here, glue there, and fold that down, tuck it in, flip it over. And uh, generally does a pretty good job. If you did, if you got the first two sides done square, it's usually just gonna align itself and, and be pretty good. So we're just gonna wait until this cools. All right, now for this part. Same process here, glue along this edge, glue along this edge. We're gonna flip that over and just kind of squeeze it together and push down on it. So, get our glue. And wait for it to cool. Okay, last part of the fuselage is the nose. This part's gonna wrap over like this. Um, this piece we're actually gonna glue down. We have this little finger hole here we can use to pop this open. This is uh, actually a little hatch we're going to put a weight in here and we're going to have to adjust the weight a little bit to get it balanced properly so this doesn't get glued down the rest of this does so let's i'm going to start with this end piece right here I'm just going to put a little blob of glue there i'm going to flip that up and you'll notice it sticks out a little further so we're going to actually fold it all the way over that so it looks like this might have to sneak just a little more glue on that little corner there to hold it down um, these are loose now this one down here we have the same problem we had on the wings these have to bend together this one isn't a big a deal if you just kind of push on it with your thumb just a little bit to smash that down so that these can bend like that then they're gonna be ready. 
We want to make the nose extra strong though. This is probably the one of the weak points of this design. This part, after lots of hard hits, starts to fall apart. So I've got a couple of tricks I'll show you at the, the end we're going to do to strengthen this up. But we're going to do one square at a time. I need glue on the strengtheners and on the outside edges. The way I'm going to do that is glue here, 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 and here. All right, I'll put a little glue on this edge here too. So a little bit there, here, here, and then in the nose on the edges of the strengtheners, and we're going to flip that down. Do just the first square. Watch out, you don't get hot glue on your fingers. This is warm. We don't have to spend our time waiting so much for this since it's holding itself together. We'll do the same thing on the next part. Glue here, 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 and a little bit in the middle. Fold that next one down. Okay, you can use the table too. Just to kind of rock and push it in. And it's looking pretty good. You notice we've got this big gap right there. That's by design. This is going to go down like that. So let's do that one same way. Glue here, here, glue across the middle, glue along the edges of the paper. And we can glue this guy down. Okay, I'm going to hold off on gluing this second to last square down for now. So for now, we are finished with the fuselage. Um, kind of complicated when you first start, but when it's finished, it actually looks fairly simple. Um, we are going to come back and glue down this guy when we've got our weight in there where we've decided we want it to go. Um, usually, what I've noticed, the weight needs to go quite a ways up in there and it's kind of awkward to work with just this one open. Okay, so with that done, we can set that aside. Again, you might want to put your name on the outside somewhere where it's easy to see so this doesn't get mixed up with anyone else's and we're ready for the next step.